So here you learn how to name molecules with chiral centers inside. Take a look at this molecule here. On the first look, you would have identified there are three chiral centers, namely one, two, and three. So the first thing you do is to decide whether it's R or S for each of them. So if you do quick enough, you can just follow through, take your time. For this carbon I'm pointing to is R. You can use the old method to do it, okay? But it is R. The next one here is S. And the last one, you see I'm doing normal speed, huh? is S. Okay? So, next, we decide which is the longest chain again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Six atoms here. So, that must be a hexane. Your functional group, alkyl halide, chloro, and bromo. This is a methyl group. Which way do we start? One, two, or is it one, two, three? That way, because here we have the lower number of two for the first branching. This becomes a two chloro, and then we have a three methyl, and next a four bromo. The thing is, we also need to incorporate the R and S stereochemistry because this molecule will have enantiomers and diastereomers that have different chemical properties. So, I need to put down specifically, starting from the lower number first. For the 2, it is 2S, 3S, 4R. Okay? I close it and then I put hyphen. I will insert my substituents. Again, we compare C, M, and B. Who goes first? 4, bromo, followed by 2, chloro, then 3, methyl, hexane. That's all. So, it would be good for you to try again and see why is it R, S, and S and the order of naming these calf molecules.